Hello everyone, and today we are going to be looking at a mathematical activity called fraction flags. And um, this one will be very fun because it's of course got alliteration, and an activity with alliteration just means it's going to be fun. So let's crack on to it. The first activity we have here is trying to find the fractions of these flags. We have three flags over here. We have the flag of Poland, the flag of Holland, and the flag of Mauritius. Yes, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But let's start with Poland. Poland, uh, it's pretty uh, obvious, I guess I would say. It's half red. We know that because half red. Uh, actually, I'm going to get rid of that because if I'm using red, I don't have to write down the name of the color. And half red, you can basically just spot it over here, right? And over here, we I'm not going to use perfect white, but... Let's use something close to that. Uh, we also have half gray, half yellow, really. But um, if you uh, add these, uh, we know half plus half equals the number one. So we know that half yellow, half white, and half red actually make up the number one, which means one whole flag. So we basically know Poland is half red and half white that's an easy starter one but of course it'll get harder and harder as we explore more complicated flags um choosing a dark color here we have the flag of holland holland um is another base fraction we have half sorry not half a third blue then we have a third white and we then have a third red and if you do this, that actually equals to 3 over 3, which we know equals 1. So this Holland flag actually equals one flag itself already. So that's another flag, and we already know that would work. That's great. And for the last flag of this activity, we have Mauritius. And this one is actually just another fraction. We have... Um, this one is going to be another base fraction, and let's start off. It's a, quart it's a quarter green, there's a quarter yellow, there's a quarter blue, and there's also a quarter red. And once again, this equals um, one, which is easy now that we know um, these ones. So these were some warm-ups that were pretty easy, but now we're going to get harder, and I think you did good on those warm-ups. Next page, we have... Um, Belgium, Benin, and United Arab Emirates, okay? Um, Belgium, this one is actually going to be the same as uh, uh, Holland. Holland was thirds for each, so it'll be different colors. We have a third black, a third yellow, and a third red. As we can see, there are three colors. That's one cool, helpful tip. And they're all the same size of different boxes. So that's Belgium. Okay, and if we move on to the next flag we have is Benin. And this one over here looks a little bit complicated as it's a bit different shape. And I can tell you that, first of all, we know that red and yellow are the same size. And if you think about it, if we just like try to imagine moving this green block and we move it, we rotate it so that it falls onto the yellow. Don't you think they would be the exact size? I'm drawing the parameter. Green and yellow would be the exact size. So if green, let me draw it, um, uh, algebra type. If red equals yellow and green equals yellow, there's an easy statement we can make. We can make the statement um, green equals red. So technically, all of them are the same size and different colors. So we can say that Benin is a, is a flag that's made of, let's do this, um, it's made of a third green, a third red, and a third yellow. As confusing as that looks, but I think it's good. And the last flag for this page, we have United Arab Emirates, okay? Um, so we can see there are different shapes here. I can see that red is actually longer than the green piece. And white and green, actually, it would look like they're the same. 
and they are the same actually yes it, it's a kind of like an illusion the white block and the green block are actually the same size but the black block is actually slightly larger so that's why we need to be a bit smart when we're trying to solve this fraction flag now basically to explain you can see how red is let's let's try to write this in a formatic way once again green equals yellow for uh, no sorry not yellow white so um of course we know red does not equal black because black is a little bit more thicker but a little smaller a, a bit less wide red is vice versa more wider but no 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 sorry sorry black is a bit more wider but not as long while red is a bit longer while not being that wide it's vice versa so if you think about it if we have those kind of pieces you could actually combine black and red to be if we imagine this whole flag once again and we get rid of the white and green blocks and we put the black block next to the red block then we see that that covers half of the flag it's very hard to imagine but let's say we get the red and yellow and the white piece pieces out and we move the black block next to the red block then what happens is that oh i drew it drew an eight then what happens the black and red block actually add up so that um they equal half and then that equals since this is one big flag that would make sense that green and green and white would then since we took them out of the flag now we put them back into the flag to create an extra half so technically coming down to the conclusion we have actually another base fraction uh conclusion so we have a quarter red a quarter green a quarter yellow sorry white i keep saying yellow for some reason a quarter white and a quarter black and of course that equals one and that is the flag of united arab emirates and that was a bit difficult but i think we got there in the end so yeah great so for the next activity we have an interesting one actually over here it says please find three flags and show us what the fractions of the flags are so we're supposed to find three flags and the fractions of them the first flag i have for you here is actually gonna be the italy flag okay um if we look at this one if we go to images we'll actually find out on google that this flag of italy um is actually pretty simple to tell uh if i click into it i think you guys should have been able to tell already it's a it's a third green, a third white, and a third red. So for this flag, um, ignoring this cool symbol, the flag of Spain, if you think about it, this is a more difficult one, you combine the red and the other red block, and if you combine them together, it actually equals half of the flag. So then the rest of the half of the flag, the rest of the half of the flag <laughs> is going to be the yellow, discarding this royal sign. And that actually means that flag of Spain has half red and half yellow. And this last flag of mine is actually interesting. It's on the front cover of our fractions flag activity. And it is the flag of Colombia. Colombia. And um, very interestingly enough, if we can see half blue, half red, which makes which makes half of the flag and then the rest is yellow so that means this part is half yellow while this part is a quarter blue and a quarter red that's the math there yeah and the last activity on the page is actually asking let me show you the question it asks can you create your own country and flag who would be your president? What would your government look like? What laws would you have? What currency would you use? What would your capital city be? What else would you like to know? What else would you like us to know about your country? And this is basically what I made. made. It's a very interesting topic, homework that you could do. Very cool project. I made the flag of old stones. And the, of course, the president is me. <laughs> and there's a lot of information here, but it was just me having fun. And just to, just as we finish this video the flag of old stones is pretty cool it's half red a quarter no sorry no 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 no, no. not that um 
It's a it's an eighth purple, an eighth. So that means one over eight, the base fraction. Then it's an eighth green, an eighth. I forgot what this color is, like close to gold, and an eighth blue. If you do eight, an eighth plus an eighth plus an eighth plus an eighth plus half, that will equal one. That will equal the flag of old stones. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching this match video. I hope you enjoyed and goodbye.